Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing um, a Dollar Tree haul. Now this is some fall related things and then also like a little bit of snack stuff. I don't know. My total bill was I think $28 somewhere around there. So I noticed that the Dollar Tree had come out with some candle items that were fall themed and then I was actually um, doing all of the fall decor in my home this past weekend and I noticed that some things broke, some things needed to be um, replaced and then there were also some things that I wanted to add to my collection that I saw on other people's Dollar Tree hauls. So let's get started oh here's my receipt i spent 26 dollars, so i got 26 different items and my dollar tree my local dollar tree was pretty stacked i was actually surprised i think i got there at just the right time um my dollar tree usually well it's a smaller dollar tree for one thing and there aren't too many dollar trees around my area so i feel like this is kind of the only d tree store that's in the area so everybody kind of flocks there and then things get sold out really fast so and the first thing I wanted to show you guys was some of the floral arrangements that they had that I picked up. I only got these two and it is the orange, what is this called? Berries, the orange berries. And then I also got the red kind of berry berry. I don't know what do you call it. It's just a red berry. Um, I have a scarecrow that somebody made for me that is sitting on an orange bench and she's like all decorated with orange decor and things. Um, let me go get her real quick so I can show you guys kind of what I'm talking about here. Okay, so she's kind of big. Ugh, aren't we all? And um, so it's kind of hard to show you guys. But anyway, she's a scarecrow. She's sitting on a bench and um, I just like cross her legs here anyway. And then all of her floral arrangements are over here. So, oh, and there is her face. I don't know, I think she's just really cute. She's got a little pumpkin on her hat. She's got sunflowers all over the place and she is just adorable. You need to promise, first of all, she just got done eating, so sorry, she looks so sloppy. You need to promise that you're not gonna eat my scarecrow. You promise? I hope you don't. Don't be shady. Don't be shady. I'm going to be watching you in the background, Snooky. Oh, okay, good. Anyway, so the scarecrow, when I, um, what are you doing? What are you doing to my scarecrow? Don't eat her. She's going to try, she's going to do something. I just, I feel it. I feel that she's going to do something. Okay, I have the scarecrow down by my feet. Anyway, when I stored the scarecrow, um, it's kind of like an oblong shape. So I had to wrap her up in things. And unfortunately, she got stored upside down. So all of the floral arrangements fell out. And some of the beads kind of like went to and fro all over in my storage little area that I have. So I decided just to pick these up. I'm going to be um, putting them in there and just making you know, the floral arrangement a little bit fuller. Um, let's see. Another thing I got were these fall placemats. You guys know that I have been kind of going crazy on the fall placemats or any placemats actually, just because of the fact that I use them for my counters. I don't use them for um, my tables. So what I like to do like on my coffee station and um, I have like a paper toweling holder and things is I like to lay these down on my countertops and um, put things on them. So they just kind of look nice and neat. You can add a little bit of touch, a little bit of color to your kitchen. Um, and these obviously a dollar. So really, really easy to change out. So I found this and this actually matches my tablecloth. Um, it has the leaves on the front there and then on the back it is just plain orange so I picked up four of these right away because if you spill on one of them it's easily you know chuckable or whatever and then you can just start again but I suggest picking up maybe um, one or two extra of these just in case you do spill on them if you go back to your Dollar Tree they are going to be gone Trust me, I've had that happen to me before and they just completely sell out the themed ones super fast. So if you see something that you like, 
I always buy in double just in case. And then I also found um, some paper plates. I'm a big believer in paper plates. It just saves doing dishes for me later on. So I found these pumpkin ones. And this one just says on it, thankful autumn, um, give and harvest. And they are just pumpkin themed. They also had one that was like a scary pumpkin, more so geared towards children. So I kind of liked this one because it wasn't. And then I found these paper plates and these match on uh, my tablecloth and then they also match on uh, my placemats and I'll probably be using these like if guests come over or something like that or like MP or whatever. And then Snooky Louise, you guys, I don't know if you are aware, but I got some glitter pumpkins a while ago. Um, and these are just kind of decor pumpkins, but she got one. I left one on my bed after I was done filming in my bedroom and she got one and there's like styrofoam underneath here and she bit into it like a huge chunk. So she is a stinker when it comes to fall items and pumpkins. But anyway, I got this one. I just like these um, for when like I take a picture of a candle for my YouTube channel or um, Instagram or whatever, or simple decor. Um, I just thought that this one was really cute. It's kind of like an orangey copper tone. Super adorable. So that was that bag. Um, let's see the next bag here. Okay, so this is stuff that was wrapped up for me. So when I went into the fall decor, they didn't have any of their fall candles. And I was like, oh shoot, I missed them or they didn't come in yet. These were on an end cap. So um, they were kind of chosen through and picked through. So I was happy to get these. So the first one is a tea light holder. Um, I did pick up three tea light holders, all in different colors. This one is the red one, but I just thought that it was super pretty. It is in um, the shape of a leaf and it is glass through and through. So that is what this looks like here. Super pretty. Um, I've never seen these before. And yeah, I have a bunch of tea lights that I need to get through. And I just feel like these are really, really nice. Um to just put anywhere actually they're small so they can fit in any kind of like little nook and cranny like oh not nook and cranny because literally you don't want to start a fire but you know what I mean they're just like really nice for decor and they're small um they're not that big so they don't take up a lot of space so this one is the orange leaf so as you guys can see they do have a different shape to them this one is this a maple leaf or are they both maple leaves? I don't know. But this one I thought was super pretty as well. And it's going to glow when the light hits it. And then let's see, where is the other one? Uh-oh. Did she not? Oh, here it is. I'm like, where is my third? The lady there, you guys, at the Dollar Tree was so sweet. She's like, you want these wrapped? And there was like a bunch of people in back of me. And I'm like, if possible. And she's like, no problem. I'll wrap them for you. So she was really, really nice. Um, So this is the green one. It's kind of more of a mossy green color. I really like it. It does match the red one. So you can put even all three of them out at the same time if you want. I just think that these are super cute. Again, made of complete glass. So be super careful with these because they are breakable. And then I was on the search for these votive holders. So those were tea light holders. These are votive holders. And I was so happy to find them. I saw these on, I think, Facebook. Somebody else was taking a picture of these um, in their store. And I was like, oh my God, I am praying that my store has them. So that is what this one looks like here. It's kind of hard to see in the light. So let me try, but look at you guys. So this is all black. Um, it is kind of like a clouded type of black. And then it has, is this gold or silver? Mm, it's kind of a copper color. It's in between. It's kind of like a rose gold in between silver and gold, but then it has the leaf on there. And I'm hoping that, yeah, the leaf is like all the way through. So I don't know if you guys can see on the inside there, there is the leaf. Um, so I'm hoping that when you put a votive in here, obviously put your votive in another glass holder that fits inside of this. Don't just stick your votive in and light it because this is going to explode. I can guarantee that. Um, but I'm hoping that it glows. So there was one of them. And then the second one that I got was orange. 
And this one kind of looks a little bit different. Um, it's just got that kind of orange clouded glass color with the leaf on the front and then inside you can see the leaf in there so hopefully it shines really bright and then I picked up one more they did have a purple one in but I didn't pick up the purple one because um, it just doesn't go with my theme. Um, I do have purple in my bedroom, but I really didn't need any more votive holders in there. And then this is the green one. More of a lighter green, but still, I just thought that these together would be so pretty. Um, so picked those up. Then they had wax melts, um, votives, tea lights, and candles all in fall themed. Now I smelled, I guarantee I smelled every single one of them. Every single scent smelled off to me. It just didn't smell good at all except for one of the candles, one of the fragrances, salted caramel. So this one was fine. It didn't smell bad. It actually smells just like salted caramel. It's a really good one. Um, One wick. The other ones that they had there were two wick, which was really weird. This was like the only one wick one, um, three ounces for a dollar, whatever. Is it gonna give off a lot of fragrance? Probably not. Now they did have the salted caramel in the tea lights and the votive holders, or the votive um, candles, but they didn't smell like this. So I don't know, so I got one, two of these right away. And then I picked up some snacks because of course, I was in the snacky kind of mood. So I have been craving ginger snap cookies. So I decided to pick these up. These are the little Dutch made ginger snap cookies. This is a bag of them. I think I've had these before and I think I liked them. And then I saw these and I had to get these right away as well. These are the molasses soft baked cookies. I've never had these before, so leave a comment down below if you guys have had these. I don't know, they look good. There's eight cookies in here. So let me know if you guys have had those. And then I also have a candy dish. Um, as you walk into my house, I have a little squirrel plate and then a little squirrel bowl sitting on top of it like a candy dish. So of course I needed some candy. So I picked up Whoppers, and I know this is probably not worth a dollar. I don't even know how many of them are in here. 16 to 20 in here, I'm guessing. Um, so yeah, so I picked those up. I also picked up some Tootsie Rolls because everyone loves Tootsie Rolls. So got a bag of those. Actually, though, in the Halloween candy, they have these Tootsie Rolls, and then they also have Tootsie Rolls in, like, the snack section. Get them in the Halloween candy because you get more for your buck. Um, I did notice that. <clears throat> and then I also got the Mary Janes because I love these. I absolutely love these. Even though they're probably horrible for your teeth, whatever. And then because I was in a cookie mood and because I saw these, I got the fudge striped shortbread cookies. I've seen these before in different hauls. Uh, people have said many a good thing about these, so I thought that I would try these out. So I got those. And then I also picked up some of the Imperial Nuts Energy Blend. Have you guys seen these before? I know I had, I think I had like a cranberry one and a blueberry one or something like that, but these are all nuts. So this is almonds, pecans, walnuts, honey roasted peanuts, and honey roasted sesame sticks. So I thought on top of a salad, these would be really nice. I think these are two, oh, three servings in here, so that will be good. So picked up two of those. My last item, which is new to me, I've never seen these in my store before. I thought that I would get them. These are the nut clusters. Have you guys seen these before? These are the peanut, sunflower, pumpkin seeds, and cranberries. So, um, yeah, I picked these up as well. They had a blueberry one too, but I really don't like blueberries. So I got the cranberry one. So hopefully this is good as well. So that was my Dollar Tree haul. Leave a comment down below if you guys have picked up any of these items at your Dollar Tree. I'm sure I'm going to be doing more Dollar Tree hauls in the future, so don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you are subscribed and you are not getting notified, please don't forget to hit the bell. All of my orifices are in links down below, like Instagram, Snapchat, Periscope, Twitter, Tumblr, 
all of it. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all soon. Bye everyone.